Hi everyone. Today we're going to create an interactive Symbols of Canada project using Scratch and some special Canada sprites I've created. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. Perfect. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you subscribe and follow me because I post videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get going on today's activity. So I'm already here at Scratch, so scratch.mit.edu. And I'm on this Symbols of Canada project that I've created with some special Canada sprites. So you can search it up in Scratch or use the link that I have sent you in your PDF. And once you're here, you'll notice a green remix button if you have an account. So if you have an account, you'll see a green remix button. You can press the remix button. So let's look inside on how to code this Symbols of Canada project. So I'm going to click see inside and here we are ready. So the first thing we want to do is choose a backdrop and I've got a, dump, a bunch of different backdrops for you to choose from. So if you look at the backdrops, there's this one, there's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one that's already in Scratch. So you choose which backdrop you want. And so watch how I code it once I've chosen my backdrop. See, I'm on the stage one over here. I've clicked on this one. Now I'm going to get a green flag from, from, the, from the events button, which I've already got. And now I'm going to go to the looks button right there. And I'm going to choose a backdrop. So for me, I want the simplest one, which is blue sky. So when the green flag is clicked, switch to blue sky. So let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Nice and simple. Perfect. So I chose blue sky. You can choose whichever of these backdrops you like. And uh, then we'll move on to the next part. So now I'm going to go to the title, which is Canada. And I want Canada to be centered somewhere over here. I checked earlier and the best spot for me is 020. So look how I do that. Control, uh, no events. When the green flag is clicked, go to 020. And so that's an emotion button. Go to, go to, and then it's going to put in there 0 and 20. You can choose where you want to put it. I like 0 and 20. Let's just test that out. Ready, green flag. Perfect, right there. I also want this to go behind all of these icons. So I want the beaver and the moose and the loon and the train all to be in front of the Canada sign. So I want Canada to be in the back layer. So look how I do that. I'm going to go to the looks button. I'm going to scroll way down here. And it says go to back layer. Right there, back layer. So, I'm going to pause, let everybody catch up, go and find the Symbols of Canada project in Scratch, open it up and remix it, and then choose a backdrop that you like. I chose Blue Sky, but there's a whole bunch of different ones for you to choose from, so make sure you switch to the right backdrop. And then for the Canada title, try to center it. I chose 020. You can use the same or wherever you want to put it. And then it's important that we put it to the back layer. And this is in a purple looks button. So I'm going to pause there. When you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. So the first sprite we're going to be coding is the butterfly right there. And what we want the butterfly to do is to follow our mouse point around. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to the event and get a green flag. Let me make this a bit bigger for you at home or at school where you ever happen to be coding. So when the green flag is clicked, we want the butterfly to go to a certain spot. So I'm going to have the butterfly start right around here. And I just left it right there and there's its coordinates, negative 1088. You can start it wherever you want and wherever you do decide to start it, the coordinates will appear right down here. So choose a spot where you want the butterfly to start, look at the coordinates and then let's code that. So for me, I'm going to have it start right above the Canada sign and it's negative 17 and 78. So so right there. So now green flag. I'm going to go to the motion. I'm going to say go to. Oh, and the numbers are already there. Perfect. So go to 17 and 78. Now I want the butterfly to explain a little bit about the game. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the looks button, the purple looks button right there, and grab say hello. But instead of saying hello, he's going to say something like this. There's lots to see in Canada. And maybe not two seconds. That's too fast. I'm going to say four seconds. So there's lots to see in Canada. Let's say, uh, have him say that for about four seconds. Okay. Let's just test that. Ready? Green flag and go. 
All right, so he says there's lots to see in Canada. Wonderful. Now we want him to start following the mouse pointer. And watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the control and get a forever. And then have him forever point towards my mouse pointer, my black mouse pointer that's moving around right there. So uh, back to the motion button right there. Point towards the mouse pointer right there. And then move two steps. So it's going to move a little bit slowly. So not 10 steps, but move two steps. So let's see how that works. Ready? Green flag and go. There's lots to see in Canada. He's going to follow my mouse pointer. Perfect. See that? He's following it wherever I want him to go. So let's pause right there. I'm going to have him stop. And you can start now coding the butterfly. And if he gets stuck, please look at my code. You can have him start wherever you want. I had him start here. You can choose where to start him. Then have him say something really quickly. And then forever point towards the mouse pointer and move 10 steps forever and ever. All right, if he gets stuck, look at my code. And then when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Okay, our next sprite is the beaver. So I've already clicked on the beaver right there. And right now it's hiding. So I'm going to click show right there. You see how I click show right there? So now I can see him. See, hiding and showing. So he's showing right there. Now we're going to choose a spot for him. So I like the beaver right around here. And look, he's in front of the Canada sign. Oh, I like that. So right around there. So now I'm going to code it so he starts right there. So green flag. I'll make this a bit bigger. Go to wherever he happens to be right now. There's the coordinates. So motion. Go to those coordinates right there. Perfect. And then show themselves. So I'm going to go to the looks button right there because later they're going to hide. So we always have to use a show. So go there and show. So green flag. Perfect. He shows right there. Wonderful. Now we're going to code it so that if he gets touched by the butterfly, he makes a sound effect and he says something. So watch how I do that. Ready? So I'm going to go to the event to get another green flag. You can have many, many green flags. So when a green flag is clicked, forever check to see if it's touching the butterfly. So forever, if touching, if touching butterfly. So if, and there's, if touching, touching is a sense. So it's in a sensing one right there. So if touching the, not the mouse pointer, look, I'm going to drag it over here. And once that turns white, I'm going to let go and it's going to pop right in there. If touching the butterfly. There's butterfly right there. If touching butterfly, we want to play a sound effect. So watch, I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. There's no sounds right now. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to search up a sound or choose a sound. So click that. I'm going to go to the animal sounds right there. And the one I like is chatter. See, that kind of sounds like a beaver. Maybe not perfectly, but kind of. So I'm going to click on chatter. So there's chatter right there. So now I'm going to go back to the code. So when a green flag is clicked, Forever check to see if touching the butterfly. If it is touching the butterfly, play sound chatter until done. Play sound chatter until done. That's the only sound we got in here, right? So chatter. Play sound chatter until done. So that's one thing. Let's just test it out. Ready? Green flag and go. Let's see if he moves over there. And if he touches the beaver, he should make the sound chatter. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so the beaver's making the chatter sound. Now, I also want the beaver to say something and then hide. So I'm going to go get another green flag. So that's three green flags for the beaver. So when a green flag is clicked, forever, if touching beaver, if touching beaver, right there, if, and I'm going to go to the sensing and get the touching. Another one, if touching beaver, I'm sorry, if touching a butterfly, yeah, if touching the butterfly, I'm on the beaver right now. So forever, if touching butterfly, say, say something, and I'm going to have to say something simple. Beaver, a Canadian symbol. Beaver for two seconds, and then he's going to hide. Okay, let's just test that out. Ready? Green flag and go. So the beaver should make a chattering sound. And then he should say beaver at the same time and hide. And he's gone and hides. Perfect. So there's the coding for the beaver. I know it seems like a lot, but this is the template for all of the other uh, Canadian symbols we have there. So if we can get this down right, uh, it's going to be really easy the rest of this um, a session. So I'm going to leave my code up there. If you get stuck, please look at it. And then when you're ready for the next um, Canadian symbol, the moose, I'll be here waiting. All right, the next Canadian symbol is the moose. So I've clicked on the moose right there. I'm going to have the moose show itself. See, not hide, but show right there. I like the moose right around there. Perfect. So green flag, go to 
go to and there's the coordinates right there let's make this a little bit larger perfect and hide at the beginning i'm sorry show at the beginning show right there because later it's going to hide and again another green flag because when he's touched by the butterfly i want to make a noise a sound effect so green flag um forever if touching so forever if touching the butterfly if touching is a sense touching the butterfly and not the mouse pointer but the butterfly if touching butterfly play sound grunt so watch i'm going to go to the sound effects right there right there i clicked on sound i'm going to go search a sound and it's under the animal sound effect right there a moose is an animal and the one i like is grunt right there grunt it kind of sounds like a moose so i'm going to click that one perfect and now so forever if touching the butterfly play sound effect grunt until done right there and then one more it's going to say moose and then hide just like we did for the beaver so green flag right there forever if touching uh, the butterfly touching butterfly um say moose for two seconds and then hide great let's just test that one out ready green flag and go all right there's my beaver and my moose my beaver is going to say something and then hide my moose is going to say something and hide ready set go i like that perfect all right so there's the code for the moose if you get stuck please take a look at my screen you can pretty much copy it and then when you're ready for the next part I'll be here waiting. All right, we're going to speed things up a little bit here. So look, I'm already on the loon right here. And I'm going to have the loon show itself. So way down here, there's the coordinates already that I'm using. And then have the loon show itself. But instead of coding all that other stuff, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the moose. So I'm going to click on the moose. See this code? I'm going to use this code for the loon. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mouse pointer right up here at the top of this piece of code. I'm going to hold my um, touchpad down and then drag this on top of the loon right there and let go on the loon. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to put my mouse point right here. I'm going to hold it down with my mouse uh, touchpad right there. I'm going to drag it onto the loon and let go. And now look, they're on the loon. They're all on top of each other. I'm just going to separate them here. But look, they're, I didn't have to code all of that. I just dragged it over from the moose. See the grunt from the moose? And see it says moose? That was from the moose code. That's going to change these things. So instead of saying moose, it's going to say loon for two seconds and instead of the grunt sound I'm going to go get a different sound for the duck which is the um, duck sound so it's in the animals it's called duck so I'm going to go back to the code and instead of saying grunt it's going to say duck so let's see how this works for the loon ready green flag and go see there's my three animals uh, the beaver works well the moose works well and now the loon works well <laughs> Perfect. So there's the code for the loon. I just switched the sound effect to the duck and I have him say loon instead of beaver or moose. And remember the trick that I used was I went to the moose. I put my mouse pointer right up here on the top of this piece of code. I held my touch, my mouse, uh, my touchpad down and just dragged it on top of the moose and let go. And it appeared there. And I did the same thing with this one. I grabbed it, dragged it over to Loon and let go. It might take a little bit of practice, but it'll save you a lot of time in the, uh, when you're coding. So learn that trick. And when you're ready for the next thing, the train, I'll be here waiting. All right, next is the train. I'm clicking on the train right there. Don't hit the garbage can, you'll lose it. So train, and I'm going to have the train show itself. And I have it down here, so it looks like it's right on the ground there. See that right there? And there's the coordinates I'm using for the train right there, and of course, to show itself. So train is going to go down there and show itself. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the moose again. I'm going to grab this code. I'm going to drag it onto the train, let go. I'm going to grab this code from the moose and drag it on the train and let go. So now let me go back to the train to separate these codes. And instead of grunting, I wanted to play a whistle sound. So there's a train whistle sound. So um, I went to the sounds. I went down here. I searched up under effects. Okay, a train whistle. It's under effects. QRS, train whistle. There it is right there. Perfect. So I double click that. 
And then there it is right there. So now I'm going to code it so that if the butterfly touches the train, it's going to play the train whistle sound. And instead of saying something, I'm going to get rid of this. So goodbye to that. I'm going to drag it over here and let go. I want it to move across the screen. So watch how I do this. I'm going to have it change its X coordinate. If you remember from previous lessons, X's go this way. So change X. So if touching butterfly, change X by 10. Uh, that's too much, maybe. It's change by 2. We'll have it move slowly. And I'm going to have it do that a whole bunch of times. So I'm going to go to the control and get a repeat. Repeat, not 10 times, that's not enough. Maybe 200 times. There, repeat 200 times. I'm gonna put it inside the if loop, okay? So now, if the butterfly touches the train, it's gonna make a train whistle sound. And it's also gonna change its X coordinates 200 times. And then it's going to hide. So I'm gonna go to the looks button and grab the hide and put it there outside of this loop, right there. So repeat 200 times. It's going to go all the way across the screen and then hide. Let's see how that works. Ready? Green flag and go. So I'm going to go way over here to the train. It should make a train whistle sound. Yep, the moose. Train whistle. It should hide after 200 repeats. Perfect. Wonderful. So I'm going to pause there. There's the code for the train. And remember, I also just dragged the code over from the moose and just changed the sound effect to a whistle, which is under the sounds, under effects. And instead of saying moose, it's going to repeat 200 times, change its X coordinates by two, and then hide. If you get stuck, look at my code for the train, which is right here. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next up is the Canadian toque, which I'm going to show right there. That's kind of where I want to start, 200 and negative 18. You can start it wherever you want. That's where I want my toque to start. And remember, what I did was I just took this code from the moose. I just dragged it over on top of the toque and let go, and I'm going to use the same code. So I'm going to make a few changes instead of saying the grunt, of course. I'm going to have the toque say the siren whistle, which you'll find under the effects button. And instead of saying moose for two seconds, I'm going to have the toque glide off the screen way up here. So I'm going to go to the motion button, get the glide, drag it in there, and I'm going to make it a slow glide, so like three seconds. And I'm going to have it glide over to somewhere like, I don't know, 140 and 190. And then after it's done gliding, it's going to hide. So I'm going to go to the looks and get a hide button. So after it glides off the screen, it is going to hide. Look, I'm going to do one more cool thing. I'm going to make it spin as it glides off. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mouse pointer here. I'm going to put two fingers on my touchpad and duplicate this code and put it right there. And so now, now look what I'm going to do. Instead of this one gliding, I'm going to make this one spin. So I'm going to go to the motion button, turn 15 degrees. And instead of just doing it once, I'm going to do it, uh, I don't know, maybe like a hundred times. I'll just be safe. Spin a hundred times. And I'm going to put this inside the if loop. So, lots of coding going on there. Let's see what happens. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, the toque should make a siren whistle sound and spin off the screen. Okay, come on, toque. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay. So, if you get stuck, please take a look at my code. And uh, I'll be waiting for you when you're ready for the next part. Next up is the Canadian Maple Leaf. So I'm just going to show the Maple Leaf. Here's where I wanted to start. Negative 188 and 120, way up here. Again, I took this code from the moose. And when touching the butterfly, I wanted to change its Y coordinates. And again, Y goes up and down. So change Y by negative 2. We're going to do that 130 times. And when it's done, it's going to hide. Watch the, watch the uh, Maple Leaf. Here we go. Perfect. So there's the code for the Maple Leaf. You can have it start up here and slowly glide downwards. If you get stuck, take a look at my code here. And of course, you can do your own things. This is just a suggestion, but uh, that's what I want to do. And if you want to do something similar, you can take a peek at my code. When you're ready for the next few, I'll be here waiting. 
Hey, before we continue on with the rest of the Canadian symbols, I just want to pause and add a little bit of music to our project because it always adds a bit more professionalism. It seems more polished if we have some music. So I'm going to go back to the Canada sprite from the beginning right there, and I'm going to get a, a, muse, a piece of music to play along in our project. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the sounds button. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to choose a sound, and the one I want is in the loops. It's like a song. So I'm going to click on loops, and the one I want is called guitar chords. There's guitar chords one and guitar chords two. I like guitar chords two for this one. Perfect. So I'm going to double click that. There it is right there. And I'm going to code. I'm on a Canada one again. I'm going to code it with another green flag. So when a green flag is clicked, play sound under the sounds. Play sound guitar chords two until done. So you got to play it until it's all the way done and then repeat it. So then I'm going to put a repeat forever around it. So it'll play the song the whole time that the game is playing uh, until it's done forever and ever. Ready? Let's just test it already. Green flag and go. Perfect, right there. So I'm going to suggest that you put the song Guitar Chords 2 in during the Canada uh, symbol, okay? So when you've done that, I'll show you the rest of the icons and the symbols, and we're almost done. Okay, last part, and I hope you're enjoying this project. I'm just going to show you the code that I used for the rest of the Canadian symbols, and of course, you can do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to use some of my ideas, you're more than welcome. So I'll just leave the code up for each one for a few seconds. So again, I just took the code from the moose and dragged it onto the hockey player. And what the hockey player says when he gets touched is, Go for two seconds. And the sound effects I use for the hockey player are first a low whoosh effect, and then a goal cheer effect. So you can use those codes if you want for the hockey player. Here's what I did for the maple syrup. The maple syrup says delicious for two seconds. And then it plays this glug, glug, glug sound four times. Um, and then it hides. Here's the sound effect and uh, code for the canoe. It plays the plunging sound effect. It sounds like it's going into the water. And it does that three times. And it says canoe for three seconds and then hides. Here's the goalie effect. It's it, it, We play the sound cheer. And it hides, and he also says, save for two seconds. Here's the Inukshuk. Um, the Inukshuk says, Inukshuk for two seconds. There's a spelling right there. And we play the sound effect, magic spell for the Inukshuk. For the skate, uh, it says, skate for two seconds. And the sound I like for the skate is rip. Uh, I think that works really well for the skate. You might want to try that. You might want to do it a few times, put a repeat around that. And the last one is the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa, and I just have it appear down here in the bottom. So there's the code for that one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that project, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at our next activity. Have a great day, everybody.